Whether it be the amazing beaches and sunsets you are chasing, or just the rich historical museums and gardens, San Diego has so much to offer and many things to do if you are looking to take a trip here. With a Mediterranean climate, there are perfect temperatures year-round, making every single month throughout the year perfect to visit. Often said to be the number one tourist spot throughout all of San Diego, the USS Midway Museum was the longest serving aircraft carrier in the 20th century. If you are a movie fan, Top Gun with Tom Cruise was actually filmed in this location. This can be a great area for both friends and family. While tickets range from around $20 to $25, they include a self-guided audio tour that lasts about three hours long. If you are looking to catch up on some history lessons, be sure to check out the Battle of Midway exhibit. They have awesome interactive displays while also being able to watch a 15 minute movie presentation to further your learning. From inspecting many different aircrafts in World War II, checking out the Midway Chapel or Chow Line, all the way to the Sailor's Sleeping Quarters, there will be plenty of amazing sights to see throughout the USS Midway Museum Tour. Be sure to stop on by at the famous Kiss Statue San Diego located just nearby. This famous statue stands 20 feet tall in the air while recreating the vivid historical picture of the affection between a sailor and nurse joyfully celebrating the end of World War II in Times Square, New York City. La Jolla is a neighborhood located in San Diego famous for its rugged coastline and beautiful ocean views. La Jolla Shores Beach has a very wide stretch of flat sand, so even if there are many others trying to soak up the sun as well, there will be plenty of room for everyone to enjoy. If you are addicted to Instagram or Snapchatting your vacations, then you most likely are aware of Scripps Pier. This is one of the world's largest working piers with columns building what looks like a perfect long hallway. Next up, we have the La Jolla Coves. Hosting an underwater park, for all our nature lovers out there, this area has miles and miles of shore cliffs to explore with clear, calm waters making it accessible for your children to join in on the adventure as well. While the smells sometimes might not be the best, there are plenty of sea lions to see up close. Spreading around 1,200 acres, making it bigger than New York Central Park, one of the best things to do in San Diego is Balboa Park. With such incredible diversity and rich history throughout 17 different museums and stunning architecture, it is sure to please every personality that makes their way through here. If you are looking to check out every museum that Balboa has to offer, be sure to purchase a park-wide pass that offers admission in and out of all of them lasting over a period of 7 consecutive days. With many gardens and urban parks to explore, this is a must-see and should be on everyone's bucket list. Also located here is the world-famous San Diego Zoo that spreads across 100 acres in size. What makes this zoo so special compared to others is it hosts more than 3,700 rare and endangered animals. Many of these different species are given a lot more freedom due to the fact that they are separated by lush vegetation compared to being fenced in a specific section. If you are enjoying this guide throughout San Diego, be sure to please like and subscribe to our channel as it helps us grow and YouTube sends the video out for more people to see. Be sure to stay till the end for some extra tips and comment below what city or country you would like to see next. If you are looking to save some money on your trip, one of the best budget free things to do in San Diego is catch a glimpse of the San Diego sunsets. Many people travel from around the neighboring states to capture these amazing sunsets due to the city's atmosphere with warm air and temperate climate. Sunset Cliffs, as you can tell from the name, is consistently voted a top place to snap a picture-perfect San Diego sunset. Loaded with beachfront bars and restaurants, Pacific Beach is said to be one of the best San Diego beaches throughout the entire city. So go on and grab a bird, which is an electric scooter for those that don't know, and cruise down the 3.2 mile long boardwalk with the breeze flowing through your hair. We would like to point out though that this area is home to a more younger crowd and popular nightlife scene, so it is not really a laid back type of beach if you are looking for that. 
Take a walk through Garnet Ave to continue partying fit for everyone. If you are new to surfing, feel free to learn at the San Diego Surf School that hosts private lessons for both kids and adults. California is known for its surfing water, so make sure to ride some waves while you are visiting Pacific Beach. Marking some of the first settlements that helped create the start of the city is the historic old town, San Diego. Start your day off with a coffee and a pastry from the Garden Cafe and make your way over to the Old Town Urban Market for a wide variety of rich culture and many different restaurants for a mostly outdoor seating venue. Be sure to also check out the famous Signet Theatre Group. Hosting many different presidents and celebrities from all over the world throughout the years, Hotel del Coronado has spectacular views of the seaside and has been in both many movies and books. If you want a different view of San Diego, make sure to give the Coronado Ferry Landing a try. The ferry is a peaceful transport lasting about 15 minutes, just two miles from the beach and hotel. With many activities including beach yoga, haunted ghost tours, and the Ice House Museum Coronado Island has many things to offer. It even hosts beach bonfires available where you can roast some s'mores in the sand. With the beautiful skylines of San Diego behind it, lastly we have Petco Park which was named one of the Major League Baseball's best ballparks. One fun fact about this stadium is it actually, yes, has sand in the park for kids or families to play in and relax during the game. If you get there early enough while the players are taking batting practice, you might just be lucky to catch a home run ball in left field. Also, sometimes the players even toss practice balls up to you if you are sitting close enough to the wall. Be sure to check out Beer Alley in the stadium as it hosts many of the local breweries that San Diego has to offer instead of getting a skunky cheap beverage that most parks offer. Finally, take in the historic statue of Tony Gwynn, mid-swing, who is nicknamed Mr. Padre after winning eight batting titles and playing for the San Diego Padres 20 seasons.